Does Euclid's fifth postulate imply the existence of parallel lines? Explain. Yes, it implies the existence of parallel lines because what does Euclid's fifth postulate tell? It tells that if I have two straight lines and both of them are uh, cut by another straight line, then if the sum of the angles on the same side made by these two lines with this other line, if this is if their sum, if I call this as angle 1 and angle 2, and I'll call this as angle 3 and angle 4, okay? It tells that if sum of angle 1 plus angle 2 is less than 180 degrees, or if angle 3 plus angle 4 is less than 180 degrees, then these two lines will intersect on that corresponding side. That is what the Euclid's fifth postulate tells. Now, this uh, let us uh, try to understand these conditions more. Uh, since this is a straight line, the sum of these two angles will be 180 degrees. That is angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? And similarly, sum of angle 2 and angle 4 will also be 180 degrees. Angle 2 plus angle 4 will be 180 degrees, correct? So, I can add these two equations, right? Because Euclid's axiom tells that if I add two sets of equal things, then the new things which I get, they are also equal to each other. That is, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 plus 180, which is 360 degrees. Correct. So, I got that sum of these four angles is 180 degrees. So, if this statement is true, this means that uh, angle 3 plus angle 4 is greater than 180 degrees. Or if this is true, this means that angle 1 plus angle 2 is greater than 180 degrees. Now, we did not consider in all these two cases. In both these cases, we did not consider the case when the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. So, we came to the conclusion that if sum of these two angles is less than 180, then these two lines, let us say L and M, and I'll call this as N, then L and M will intersect on this side, correct? And if sum of 3 and 4 is less than 180, then they'll intersect on this side. This means that when the sum of uh, 1 and 2 is equal to sum of 3 and 4, both are equal to 180 degrees, that is two right angles, then none of this criteria is satisfied. So that means that they won't intersect on this side and they won't intersect on this side. So if from that we can tell that these two lines will not intersect at all, that is what is the definition of parallel lines, that these two lines never intersect each other. Therefore, Euclid's fifth postulate implies the existence of parallel lines. How? It tells under what circumstances two lines are not parallel. So, if we consider the other circumstance when this is not satisfied, then we will get the parallel lines.